Hey guys, it's Bren. I'm here with my Bath and Body Works slash White Barn SAS semi-annual sale haul. It is not big or spectacular or fantastic like some people's. I really just got a few things, a lot of wallflowers, but then like just a little bit of body care, a couple soaps, and that was it for me. I didn't get any candles. Um, so my selections at my store were just really disappointing, and I don't know if that's good because I saved money. It's not. I wanted to find something good, darn it, and I I didn't. Um, I'm so jealous of the people on Instagram that had like awesome finds. I went in, so Monday I went to my local Bath Body Works just to kind of, I knew I probably wasn't going to buy anything and I didn't, but you know, I went with my mom. Um, she just got a couple soaps and that was it. But I went in to just kind of make a plan, smell some of like the new things like the throwback body care and whatnot, figure out how much everything was going to cost so I could make a plan for my coupons. And then today I went into Woodfield Mall in Schaumburg where they have a really big Bath and Body Works and a white barn. And in the past that SAS, both those stores have had 75% off candles. And I was seeing on Instagram that a lot of other people's white barns had 75% off candles. And I went all the way there today, 90 minute drive each way. And no 75% off candles. I should have called first, but like they always have them. And anyway, um, so that was disappointing. And I just feel like I didn't really have any like big scores. The only thing that I was kind of excited about was I found Radiant Red Maple Wallflower Bulbs for 75% off. So I grabbed a bunch of those because I do love this scent. But I would have loved to find the candle in this, even at 50% off. I would have picked up one of the candles in this because I only have one full one um, left from last year. I hope that that scent comes back. But also on my list, it was like I wanted to find, um, I never in a million years would think that I would find the Italy Tuscan Lemon Tart, but someone on, on social media found like six of them. I would have loved to find those. Or a Golden Cinnamon, a Southern Sweet Tea, um, Golden Grapefruits were 75% off in Ohio apparently, and my store had none of those. I would have bought a Pineapple Mango or a Praline Pecan Cobbler if they were 75% off, but I didn't see those. Um, and then someone got me really excited on social media by saying that that prickly pear and sugar cane that was a failed test scent might be coming out for SAS. Um, man, I loved that candle and all I have is like, hmm, let's say slightly over half, like three fifths of the one that I bought when I was in Columbus left and then it never made tests and I could never get more. I can only hope that they will repackage that and try to put it out again as something else in the future. But I didn't, I didn't start get big with candles. I did uh, get to smell the new core collection candles that are coming out that were still full price, but like the pomegranate lemonade, the strawberry cupcake. I saw the summer boardwalk, but we all know what that smells like. Um, I, I was tempted to get the strawberry cupcake just because I really wanted to bring home like some, a new candle, but I wasn't going to pay full price. I do want to tell you on cold sniff, I like it. And I was intrigued. It was more different than I thought it would be. It's not like the strawberry vanilla and it's, I thought it might be like happy Easter or something. It's not. It actually smells more like a cupcake. And then strawberry is like in the background, but it doesn't smell like their frosted cupcake candle either because it smells more cakey. And that's what excited me is it didn't just smell like, it was like maybe um the top note or the first thing that I got was the cake part of the cupcake. It had kind of a buttery feel to it. Almost like the same kind of note that's in like Summer Boardwalk and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles and that maple popcorn scent that they put out. That kind of like bakery butteriness, but then with the frosting. And then third, you got a little bit of strawberry maybe. It might be a light thrower, but I'll probably pick one. I know I'll pick one up whenever that does go on sale. The pomegranate lemonade candle didn't really excite me that much. Um, Jen, the show 78 on Instagram, did a nice comparison where she compared it to like this and some other candles. To me, not smelling them right side by side, it smelled pretty much just like this. Um, this is pomegranate spritzer from the Summer Sips. It was a White Barn exclusive. I'm not like in love with this candle, so I'm not going to pick up the pomegranate lemonade either. Yeah, they, you know, for me, they, they smell so similar. Um, but it also, I can say, smells like that pomegranate lemon body care from the Artisan line a couple uh, Augusts ago. If you love that, then the pomegranate lemonade candle will probably be for you as well. So, um, yeah, candle-wise, that, that was my story. So I walked out with no candles. I might go back at the end of SAS. Like, I might not. 
But if I go back to SAS, it will be at the end in hopes that then they will have some more stuff at 75% off. That's the only thing that's really going to bring me back to either Bath Body Works or White Barn. Um, but I'll show you what I did get. Um, I got one Sky Violet Lily Lotion. I was excited that this was coming back. Um, they were 50% off only today. So I just got this one lotion because that was all I really need. I like the scent a lot. It's a floral, which is surprising. I'm not huge on florals, but it's like a really clean and fresh floral. It's it's youthful to me. Some florals, I feel like smell like old lady perfume. This one doesn't at all. It's really crisp. Um, kind of watery almost and I have this in a fine fragrance mist that's almost full so I don't need any more of that I have about half a lotion so now I have one and a half I'm not big on shower gels in general if it goes 75% off I might go back and pick up another lotion and shower gel at the end of the sale but the one will do me if I don't make it or if they're out or whatever no big deal and then out of the throwback body cares the only one I picked up was a Mango Mandarin Lotion. None of them were really exciting. I tell you what, if they were going to excite me with throwback body care, Limelight. Limelight is the one that I remember using a ton when I was a teenager. It was awesome. It was just like this sweet but like a little bit tart, just, just lime scent. I remember I had it in this weird like talcum powder lotion. Like you put it on and it was a lotion, but then it like turned to like a powder, made you feel really soft. And uh, limelight, bring back that. That would be great. Because I sun ripe and raspberry, I don't give a crap about that. Um, I do remember using mango mandarin back in the day a little bit. And I think it smells like I remember it smelling. But when I first smelled it, in the store yesterday and then again today, the first thing that came to my mind was this smells just like fresh picked tangerines. Um, and I don't, now that I've got it home and I've used it a little bit, I don't think it's exactly the same, but the soaps smell almost identical. There's definitely a strong similarity between this and the fresh picked tangerines. So, you know, I picked that up because eh, it was 375. What the heck, right? The brown sugar fig was kind of okay too, but I only need so much lotion, right? I need to do a body care collection video so I can show you all my lotion. I don't have a lot of shower gel. I kind of just buy that as I need it. And I don't have a lot of fine fragrance mist because I generally wear perfume or cologne, but I do have like a select few only, but lotion and cream for days and days, um, for years, really lifetime supply. <laughs> Then uh, at White Barn, so my White Barn, no 75% off candles, but they did have some 75% off soaps and, like I said, those Radiant Red Maple, Ma Radiant Red Maple Wallflowers. This was only 50% off. This was $2.50. I grabbed it just because I had gone through one of these. I kind of liked it. I don't love it. I don't want a million more. I wish I could find the Lemon Chiffon in this. That would be great. They're very expensive on eBay. I wish I would have bought a lot of those when they had it out. Um, but I just needed more of these in general. I wish that these came out in more scents because I really like having these in my purse a lot more than the lotions in the travel size. Um, so yeah, and I go through these like a lot. Then I grabbed a couple soaps. I grabbed a strawberry vanilla sugar. Uh, this was $3. And I just like the packaging on this one a lot. I like the label, so what the heck, grab that. And then I got this one at White Barn for 75% off. They had a decent eclectic selection of 75% off soaps. I posted a picture on Instagram. This was the only one though that I was interested in. I like grapefruit scents. I never had this one when it first came out, so that was cool that I got that for so cheap, I guess. And then it's just the wallflowers. So five radiant red maples. And then I came home and realized I already have two. So now I have seven. <laughs> um, love that scent though. And I remember I liked the wallflower a lot. So why not when they were under two bucks, grab more. I grabbed one heirloom pumpkin for, you know, three bucks. This is a good scent. It's a strong wallflower too. Not like I need more fall ones having all the radiant red maples. I grabbed three of the lavender macaron macaroon um, and I did that because again not huge on floral but I like the lavender vanilla wallflowers a lot so I figure you know I'll probably like these I like the Paris lavender macaron candle sometimes if I'm in the mood for it and so three of those hopefully they're good the color is kind of like a dingy lavender though I'm not sure how I feel about that it, like it already looks dirty and then um, two of the throwback body care wallflowers. I got the mango mandarin and I got the brown sugar and fig. 
if I love either one of these, then maybe I'll go back and get more. So the only reasons I'm going back would be Sky goes 75% off. I hear that they have 75% off candles, or I really love any of the stuff that I bought. You know, these are so awesome, I have to get more, but that's probably not gonna happen. I have a ton of lotion, I have a ton of wallflowers. So I don't need any of this stuff. But I wish I would have had more awesome scores. Today feels very anticlimactic. But um, that's that's it. It is what it is. So I'm excited. I have decided that I will be making the pilgrimage again for fall test candles uh, to Ohio. So I'm looking forward to that. My mind's on the future. You know, I'm more about new stuff than I am about the past anyway, as I've said before. So I guess that's probably it. I will be back with my Crossroads candles. They're right back there. Post burn review pretty soon too. So you can stay tuned for that. Follow me on Instagram in the meantime at Candles and Music. And thanks for watching. See you later.